Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to try and solo a Moltres raid. So the Cantos birds are back on raids. We have Moltres, Articuno and Zapdos. So we don't come back on raids very often, but we are all on level 5 raids this week and this week only. So while it's about, we've tried to find the best time around work hours and stuff like that and also the weather as well because it needs to be partly cloudy for us to go after a solo but it is now partly cloudy so we are going to try and solo a Moltres while it's partly cloudy and while it's about on raids so to do this we've set up our squad of five maxed out level 50 Rampadoses and we've also got a not quite maxed out but around about a level 47 Mega Aerodactyl, Mega Evolved there as well. We've also got a squad of nearly at least level 40 Rampadoses all set up. And now we're going to start it off, we're going to go in a blank lobby. And this will gain us a few seconds. It will come up with this message saying that you've not got any Pokemon selected. And it will actually start the raid counter on around 298. So normally what happens in raids is you go in with Pokemon already selected. And it will start the raid on around about 296, 295. So these few extra seconds could mean the whole difference when it comes down to trying to solo one of these. So we've started off with the Rampadosses. The first team is all level 50 Rampadosses, five level 50 Rampadosses to be exact. And we have one mega aerodactyl which is right at the end so when you see that mega aerodactyl come out we are at the end of our first team so we've just gone past 60 seconds gone now We're on to our Shundo Rampados, obtained from a lucky trade. It went to a Shundo, probably one of the most useful Shundos you can have on the game, especially when it comes to trying to do this solo. 90 seconds gone. Might just get another rock slide off there before that fire blast came in. I think this is our fourth Rampados now. So we should have one more after this before we go into the Mega Aerodactyl. So keep an eye out for when it goes yellow. To achieve a solo, we need it to go yellow prior to around about 165 on the clock. If we can do it before 165, we're on a winner. 150 is a halfway point on the clock, but 166. So we are very close. I say 165 because we've got to take into account that when we faint out, when our first team faints out, Moltres will gain 5% of its health back when we try and bring in our second team. Plus, we are going to lose a few seconds by trying to bring in our second team as well. Fire Blast here, that's going to see that Rampados out, and it has. So Mega Aerodactyl. It's on Mega Aerodactyl's hands now, or wings should I say. A lot of heavy tapping, a lot of painful wrists when trying to solo one of these. Tapping the screen really hard, whether that's going to make too much of a difference I don't know, but got to try and give it a roll 100 seconds left can we get to another rock slide before mega aerodactyl faints out we can and there is a fire blast from Moltres. we're into the red and our team has fainted we are going to go for a quick changeover into our other rampados team it's gone back up to yellow like i say that five percent extra 
So we are going to have to knock it back down into the red. We've just managed to do that with 75 seconds on the clock, which is a quarter left. And red dictates that we have got a quarter of health left. So this is going to be extremely close. So depending on where these fire blasts land, how long it takes to get the Rampados in and how many rock slides we can get away with each Rampados will determine whether we've managed to do this or not. And the raid only had about three minutes left on it when as well when I went in the lobby. So this is our last chance at trying to solo this Moltres this time round. And unfortunately the weather's not been brilliant all this week. So we've really struggled to find the time, the place and the moment to solo these this week. But this is a chance. 18 seconds left. 12 seconds left. We've done it. Five seconds left on the clock and we have soloed a Moltres. 19.13, I don't even think that's very good. I'm not too sure. I can't remember what's a good one. But we've managed to do it with five seconds left on the clock. Wow. <laughs> wow. That was close. Make sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Wow. <laughs> Let's see what we get for our solo effort. Not a shiny. But it's a 1913. Don't know how good this is. Let's see if we can catch it. But while I'm catching this, let me know in the comments below if you managed to solo a Moltres or have you managed to solo any any level five raid boss? If you have, let me know what it was. How long did left did you have it on the timer as well? Was it that close? That was very, very close. Hopefully for all that effort, we'll hopefully be able to catch this. And it will hopefully be some, some decent IVs. I don't particularly like the, uh, the raid bosses that can fly because they do seem to be an absolute pain to catch moving up and down in the air as well as flying about the place managed to get an excellent throw there though so that's not too bad and we've caught it soloed Moltres we're going to call it solo as well we've done it 1913 how good was it Two star, pretty rubbish, but we've soloed it on and it will always stay in my in my Pokemon stories now. Named Solo. Unfortunately it's not very good, but it will remain there just as a unique momentum. So brilliant. Thanks very much for watching. Like I say, make sure to leave a subscribe, a comment as well. Let me know of any more raids that you'd like to see me have a go solo in at whether it's a mega raid whether it's a level 5 raid boss let me know in the comments below and also make sure to give me a like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you on more incredible videos i'm sure very soon thanks very much for watching catch you next time